Flooding continues to be an issue along the Jersey Shore. Crews shut down U.S. 40 in Egg Harbor Township and West End Avenue in Atlantic City because of it. New Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner is on your corner and he explains why this is happening and how people affected are trying to stay resilient. As the water from Atlantic City's Back Bay disrupts the flow of traffic on US 40 and West End Avenue at Pagabon Kitchen and Tap House, <laughs> the flow of conversation and beer continues unabated like the flooding outside its front door. About to the step of the front of the building and then even towards a little bit into our beer garden out back. Brian DeFago says getting to that front door has been a challenge. Uh, it's been a, a little obstacle course or so to get into <laughs> the building. Literally in this video his co-workers shot over the weekend, DeFago demonstrates with a bit of flair how workers navigated the flooding to get back to work. It's very important because you don't want bay water in your feet. <laughs> while you're working. While this intersection is known to flood, Stockton University's Kim McKenna says over the last few days, the Jersey Shore has been seeing more frequent flooding. There is a coastal low that's just parked offshore um, that's generating a lot of wind and pushing a wall of water into our inlets. She says this is normally the time of year when we see these coastal lows. But what's not normal, man-made climate change is causing the water around Atlantic City to rise, making this flooding more frequent and worse. So these are just things that we're going to see more and more of these um, nuisance floods. Despite this flooding, DeFago says, unlike the bar's namesake, this corner is home. We stay open. You might get stuck in here for like an hour or so, but we'll take care of you while you're here. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.